way. They're experimenting. They're trying some new combinations just to see what uh, works best for them as we head up towards uh, Olympic qualifiers, of course, in our World Championships in Duisburg in August. And they want to get it right. And there you see in the middle of the field, lane five, the Australians, Jan Westerhausen, van der Westerhausen, and Tom Green, of course, they are the Olympic gold medalists in the K2-1000 from Tokyo. And, of course, the, uh, the K2-1000 is no longer an Olympic event. It's been halved in distance to K2-500. And van der Westerhausen and, and Green still, they've been a little bit, taken a little while to get to their very best form since the change in distance, but I'm fancying that this might be their best opportunity this weekend to finish on top of the podium with a couple of the other crews swapping partners or missing from Poznan. But they're underway and you can see straight away it's the Australians who've gone out very, very hard. The Chinese right next to them, Chen and Dong, also going out very, very hard. Also in this race you have uh, Colombia, the Czech Republic, Great Britain, Finland, the Australian and Chinese crews, and then a team from the Netherlands and Uzbekistan making up the eight. So as I mentioned before, the top five go through to the semi-finals automatically. Then the two best sixth placings, the two best sixth times will also go through. The Australians now taking control halfway through the race. They look like they've got this well and truly where they want it to be. The Chinese on their right sticking with them and then back in the inside, the, the Finnish crew, Kolomanin and Hakala are also sticking by the Australians, but they are the scene setters for this race. They are the team to beat, the team to stick with the Australians. The Chinese now starting to, to lift their rating a little bit as we get towards the finish line, but the Australians now easing down as they get towards the end. Comfortable heat win there for the Tokyo gold medalists, Van der Westhausen and Green. The Chinese very happy with their second placing. The team from Finland, I think, held on for third. We'll wait, though, for fourth and fifth and then see who has the nervous weight in sixth position because it will all come down to their time if they are good enough to get through to the semi-finals. So we'll just wait for confirmation. Beautiful day here in Poznan. Blue skies, a little bit of a wind, a little bit of a breeze factor. It was much stronger this morning. It's dropped off a little bit this afternoon. But otherwise... Perfect conditions for racing. A very good even race from the Australians who are very experienced now together. They've been in K4s together and uh, been the K2 Olympic champions, of course. They know each other so well. Been a bit of a, a transition for them coming back from the 1,000 to the 500 but I feel that they are starting to get it all together now and that we have a very hard combination to beat. So there we go, Australia, China, Finland, and it looks like it might be uh, the Netherlands who are in sixth, finished sixth, so they've got the nervous weight. Let's have a look, confirmation for that. No, Uzbekistan uh, finished in sixth position, so they have a little bit of a nervous weight there to see if they'll get through to the next round, but above them, uh, the Czech Republic, Great Britain, Finland, China, and Australia all safely through to the semi-final. Sixth position is pending, pending.